Okay, with our character leveling up, now we need to display that to the player so they don't have to just watch that bar. There can be a nice little pop-up. So in our player HUD widget, I'm going to double click and open that up. Oh, there's this. I'm going to get rid of those. Those from the last time. Alright, so kind of like we did with the, um, the crafting thingy, you can do this anywhere you want to. Um, let's see, how do I want to, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it just right above here, I guess. So I am going to add another canvas panel that will hold all the level up stuff. Default it back to the zero and then position it where I want. So about 215 and 10, 25, that's 36, 25. About there looks good. So the alignment 0.5 on the X so that it's half. Oh no, it's zero on the X. So size it and then adjust, then position it. I suppose would be a better route. Let's see, 250, 100 on the Y. Ooh, that's a bit big. So we'll do 70. So I'm just showing you methodology. You can put this anywhere you want, design it any way you want. This is just how you would go about it. I'm going to add an image to it, full anchored, just like that. I'm going to set the tent to point, oh no, zero. And then I'm going to set the alpha to 0.75 so it's kind of see-through just like I've done everything else. And then we'll just add a little text block to the center of it. So I'm going to anchor it to the center. Position X and Y, 0, 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 on both. For the text it's going to be center justified and then it's just going to say level up exclamation point. And then for the typeface I want it to be italic size 30 and then okay there we go then you can drag the top of it if you want it up a little bit down a little bit that looks good that looks alright that's good enough alright I'm going to go with a gold color gold-ish that'll work so now with that canvas panel. I'm going to add an animation down here called level up. So with this highlighted I can add the track for that canvas panel I've got selected and the reason I do everything on a canvas panel is because uh, when I add the render opacity I can adjust everything inside that without having to add each individual element. So I'm going to add a track of a render opacity it's going to default at zero, so I want it to start from zero. I want it to last for about two seconds. So at zero, it's empty. At half a second, we'll set it to one. At one and a half seconds, still one. And then at the two second mark, zero. So then what it does is it fades in, stays on screen for a little bit, fades out. Generally speaking, most of the time you won't have instances where your character levels up multiple times in a row. We did that in the last one just to show you that you can in case, like in case you've got boss monsters out there and you want your player to be able to go and fight them. Uh, so for this, this should be fine. But I'll show you how to, in case that's playing already, it'll, def it'll, it'll stop. Alright, so I'm going to uncheck that so that we can set the default for that canvas panel to zero. So the render opacity, render opacity under the behavior, zero. So we'll compile that. Then in the player blueprint, just somewhere inside the graph. Yeah, we'll do it right here at the end of the false. So we'll grab our player HUD reference we have so many references now <laughs> so we'll get that and we're going to get animation get level up and we want to see if it is playing is animation playing 
Now for the target, it has to be the HUD reference itself. So it asks, what HUD widget are we, or what widget are we looking at, and what animation are we checking? So it needs to know both of those. So we're gonna just drag this like this. We'll add a branch. So if it is, then we want to set its play position, set play, set position, set time, set animation current time. If it's true, then we want to set the animation back to zero so that if it loops through a bunch of times and then does it. But now if it's not, let's set this down here. That looks ugly. That looks less ugly. <laughs> All right, so now we want to say play. Oh, no, no, not playing. From the level up, we can play animation. Just like that. Now, it also needs to tell, no, which widget we're looking at, what animation we're looking at. So just kind of restring some of this a little bit and then let's check it out so yeah it leveled me up and it showed my little display I might move that that doesn't look very good the other good thing about having it as a canvas widget is you can just highlight that canvas widget and then just move it around wherever you want. So like if I wanted it, let's say anchored to the center and then 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and then move it up. So where's that? There's that one. So we'll say negative 300. That way it's below the crafting but above the player's head. Should be at least. Let's double check. Yeah, it looks alright. Now you can also add some bells and whistles if you wanted to. Like, for instance, once the player levels up and does her thing, if you wanted, let's say, you know what, let's do that. Let's just do that for, just for fun. Alright, so let's find that effects pack. So you can do this with any particle system, but let's say your character levels up. Let's find a good one. Let's find a good one. And these are very good for. Now he's very good for leveling up, but hopefully I put in the other pack. I did not yet. So we're just going to pick one. We're just going to pick one. All right. So um, how are you? No. You? No. You know what? Lightning. I don't care. Lightning. That'll work. So what we can do is right here at the very end, we can spawn emitter at location. So we'll plug this in and that in. Now the emitter will be whatever you're wanting to use for your level up. For right now, I'm just using the lightning just as a demonstration. Now I'm going to get my actor transform. So the actor is the self. We're in the player blueprint, so that works perfectly. We don't want the scale, so we're going to break transform, and we can plug in our location and rotation just like that. And then from the return value, let's bind event to system finished. So once it's finished, we'll just do a custom, can't do a custom event in here, can we? Can I do my destroy acta? Can I add event? Rendering, add. Event dispatch, create event. Hey, I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. What is this? Create matching function, create. Okay, I don't know what this is, but um, we'll just say on system finish. Destroy component.
I'm wasting your time. Whether the component will automatically be destroyed when the particle system completes completes playing. All right, so it's already set up to auto destroy. I don't need to waste your time with that. Let's check it out, though. Let's go ahead. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Bam! Right there. All right, so if it's not lining up exactly where you want it on the location, like mine was a little bit high, what we can do is break the transform. I'll subtract from its vector on the Z. I'm going to take 90 away. And then I'll plug that in so you can adjust everything just like this. So when I plug this in, I go bam and I level up. Nice. Looks good. Shockingly good. Ha! Ah. Alright, how do you look? Not very level up. You stay too long. But yeah, you can do that with any uh, th things, any, what are these called? Emitters, any emitter that you like, it'll all work. So yeah, that's how you can add the notifies to your screen and on the player. And oh, that's it for this one. I will see y'all in the next one. All right, so bye.